Hey guys, one of the ways they have made the new specification harder is that they have taken the formula of ions off of the formula sheet, which means you have to learn them. Um, and we haven't been given much guidance from the examples about which ones you have to learn. So I've made you some flashcards to help you learn them. You can either watch this video over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until you learn them all. You can make your own flashcards from this video or you can go to my website and download the ones that I've made if you want to save some time. Um, now there are a lot here. Um, some of these you can use a periodic table to work out for yourself, but I've just included all of them for the sake of completeness. Um, this is one of the things that is pretty much guaranteed to come up on the exam. Not the formula, like what is the formula of this, but combining this and another skill to make um, the formula of a salt. So this is something they ask really, really frequently. So it's worth learning this. Um, now, I said the exam board haven't given us much guidance about what ions are included, so I've just taken the ones that I teach for A-level, because I've got no idea when to stop, which ones you need to know, which ones you don't need to know. Um, because, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, like, you know, what does grade 9 look like, the examiners are stretching, stretching, stretching things as much as possible. So, the formula of ions that you need to know, let's go. Lithium ion, Li plus, magnesium ion, Mg2 plus, nickel 2 ion, Ni2 plus, aluminium ion, Al3 plus, nitrate ion, NO3 minus, notice the three is on the oxygen and the minus is on the whole thing. Sulfide ion, SO2 minus, that is two minus on the whole thing. Potassium ion, K plus. Strontium ion, SR2 plus. Tin 2 ion, SN2 plus chloride ion Cl minus hydrogen carbonate ion HCO3 minus that is a little three because there are three oxygens and then a minus is the charge on the whole thing nitride ion N3 minus silver ion Ag plus Iron 2 iron, Fe2 plus, chromium iron, Cr3 plus, iodide iron, I minus, sulfate iron, SO4 2 minus, little 4 because there are 4 oxygens, 2 minus is charged on the whole thing. Ah, blank. Copper 1 iron. Cop Cu plus. Calcium iron. Ca2 plus. Lead 2 iron. Pb2 plus. Bromide iron. Br minus. Hydrogen sulfate iron. That is HSO4 minus. Four oxygens, so it's a little four, and then minus is a charge on the whole thing. Phosphate iron. PO4, three minus. Four oxygens, three minus is a charge on the whole thing. Sodium iron. Na plus. Barium iron. Ba2 plus. Zinc iron. Zn2 plus. Fluoride iron. F minus. Nitrate iron. I know some of these spellings are really similar. That is NO3 minus. So it's three oxygens. Minus is the overall charge. Nitrite iron. NO2 minus. I know these spellings. 
an oxide iron, O2 minus. A hydrogen iron, nice one here, H plus. An ammonium iron, NH4 plus, four hydrogens plus is a charge and everything. Copper two iron, Cu2 plus. An iron three iron, Fe3 plus. A hydroxide iron, responsible for alkalinity, OH minus. And then last of all, a carbonate iron, CO3, two minus. There are three oxygens and the overall charge is two minus. Now, some of those you can work out from the periodic table. For example, everything in group one is going to form a plus one iron. Everything in group seven is going to form a minus one iron. But one of the ways they've made it harder is that you now have to learn these. They are not telling you them, so. Please learn them.